There is this guy Harry who loves to eat pizzas, just like all of us. Now, whenever he eats pizzas, he orders all sorts of toppings. But he is allergic to onions. So, whenever he eats pizzas, he avoids onions. So, one day he goes to Pizza Hut to eat pizzas. They ask him for the toppings. They give him these choices. Capsicum, olives, corn, tomatoes and onions. Now, he has to avoid onion. So, what are the ways he can list the elements? He can either say, give me capsicum, olives, corn and tomatoes. Or he can say, give me everything except onions. So, this was the first time he went to Pizza Hut. So, he listed the elements. He said, give me capsicum, olives, corn and tomatoes. And he got the desired pizza. Now, he liked the pizza very much and he became a regular customer there. So, every time he went to order pizza, he did not repeat these toppings. He used to say, give me everything except onions and he, they would give him this pizza. Now, one day, Pizza Hut was closed. He went to Domino's to eat pizza. Now, they asked him, what toppings do you want, sir? Now, he had the habit of saying everything except onions. He told them that, give me everything except onions. Now, they gave him the pizza he wanted, but, and it did not have onions also, but it had some other toppings. It had mushroom, it had green chilies, it had capsicum, it had tomatoes, it had corn, but it did not have onions. But this was not the pizza he used to eat in Pizza Hut, so he felt strange. So, we can see that everything except onions, these words did not work for him here. The set of toppings that they gave was different. So, now the set of toppings that Pizza Hut provided or the set of toppings which Domino's provided can be called as the universal set of toppings of these two places. Now, what is a universal set? A universal set is a set that contains all the elements under consideration. Now, these were the toppings that were under consideration when they had to make the pizza for Harry. Relevant to a particular problem or discussion. Now, what is relevant here? They are relevant when they are making pizza for Harry only. So, these toppings, these set of toppings can be called as universal set. Now, this universal set is also required when we study the chapter of sets. Now, how is universal set denoted? It is denoted by the letter U or by the symbol epsilon. Now, suppose I give you a word aerobics and then I ask you, write a set of vowels. Now, you may think that I have given you the word aerobics and you may write the vowels from this word only A, E, O and I. Now, your friend, he did not think so much. He, he listened that I had said to write the set of vowels. He did not consider this word and he wrote the set of vowels only. Now, there is a confusion now whether to write the set of vowels from this word or whether to write the set of all vowels. Now, to avoid this confusion, we have universal set in our sets. Now, I had given you the set of letters in the word aerobics or the word aerobics. So, what will be the universal set here? The letters in the word aerobics. This is the universal set or the parent set which I have given you. Now, if I ask you and your friend to write the set A of all vowels, what will both of you all do? You have to write the set A of vowels from these letters. What set did you, both of you write? A, E, O and I. There is no confusion now. Now, set B of all consonants. What will you and your friend both of you write? The set of consonants in these words, 
this is the universal set you have to consider now r b c and s so you write that and both of you get the same answer so the, now there is no confusion given the universal set now universal set can be represented by a rectangle or a square now how will you represent sets inside it you can make circles showing set a set b or you can even make overlapping circles set a and set b you can also make a set c inside it showing three circles in a universal set now if i ask you set a of all even numbers earlier what you used to do you used to write 2 4 6 8 and so on but now i have provided you with the universal set that this is the universal set 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and now you have to write the set a of all even numbers considering this universal set so so now this universal set will act as a parent set over here now write the set a of all even numbers you can see in this set 2 4 and 6 so now you have a finite set over here now you know that a universal set can be represented in a square or a rectangle so we have represented universal set in a square over here and listed all the elements of the universal set now a is a set which falls inside the universal set so 2 4 and 6 is represented by this circle where a represents 2 4 and 6 now the universal set does not remain same for all problems it depends on problem to problem it could be the set of all natural numbers for one problem or the set of odd numbers for another problem or a set of integers or you can customize it according to your problem or the set of students in your class the set of friends you have and so on so you can see universal set depends on problem to problem we have to consider it according to the relevance of it in one problem